welcome back. My name is Sav. If you're new here, I have missed you guys so much. I took a very long break because I had a lot going on. Uh, I went back home for Christmas break and then right after Christmas break, I moved. So I'm in a new house now. As you guys can see, the room is very different. You guys know that I moved to Colorado. The first house that we moved into, like I said before, was like in the middle of nowhere. I wasn't sure how I was gonna like it. So we did a six month lease just to be sure in case we hated the house because we hadn't seen it prior to moving in or anything like that. We were just relying all on the pictures. So the landlord agreed to do a six month lease for us. And if we liked it, we would just like continue to renew it or whatever. A lot of things happened. So we decided to move to a different part of Colorado now, pretty much like opposite ends of the state, which is pretty cool. We are back in civilization. <laughs> there are plenty of things around. There's Taco Bell, there's Chipotle, there's shopping, a grocery store is not 20 minutes away anymore. Um, yeah, we're basically back in civilization um, before we lived like on top of a mountain so it was really nice for six months we were very secluded and um it kind of felt like a really long vacation which was nice super stoked about this new chapter we moved in um i want to say like a week ago and i have been unpacking and setting up this room so that i could start working again and i'm super stoked on how it turned out if you guys want to see like a full tour i did post a tiktok about it i'll link it in the comments um, and in the description. So if you want to go look, that's up. I'm super stoked about this new year. I'm feeling very motivated. I can't wait to see what we get up to in 2024. Holy crap. Today we're going to be playing Legacy Challenge. I redid the house um, on stream, so I'll give you guys a little tour. I don't think we've done that yet. I honestly can't remember anything. There's just been a lot going on and um, my memory isn't what it used to be. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you for being patient with me. Thank you for being here and supporting me always. I have a juicy peach Alani that I'm gonna be sipping on today. This is one of my favorite Alanis ever. It is so freaking good and they sell multi-packs at Walmart. So that's what I'm having today. It's also been so nice having DoorDash back. Like, ooh, that was a really good crack. Uh, <laughs> DoorDash didn't exist where uh, at our old house just because we were on a mountain. Uh, so yeah, it's been really nice having that again. But cheers guys, thanks for being here. Let's get into it. Man, I feel like it's really, really staticky. I hope it doesn't come across um, in the video. Like every time I have a new setup, like I have so many technical difficulties, like taking it down and setting it back up, it just doesn't like it. Also, I got a new mouse. I had this one, the mouse that I had before was very quiet and I got a new one because I wanted it to be wireless and I know that a lot of you guys don't like the clicking of keyboards and the clicking of mice. <laughs> so um, uh, I hope it's not this one's not too loud. Let me give you guys a tour of the new place. So I made this um, more tailored to um, Edison the next air. It definitely has more of a masculine vibe inside and out. And uh, I kind of went for like a little bit of an eco lifestyle feel with it too. It's not done. I don't think, yeah, I definitely want to like <laughs> the toilet. I definitely want to put <laughs> decor on the porch here and stuff. This house is basically the same. Um, we also redid Ren's house. So let's go over there first because I really, really like the way that this turned out. It's adorable in here. All right, so it's very small, but we went for like a traditional the hell happened to the roof uh anyways <laughs> what happened to the roof i painted it and everything i don't know what happened but we went for like old money vibes in here very traditional but like luxurious feel um this is a picture frame tv so she got a tv some couches this is her sleeping quarters over here her, she got a wardrobe, a mirror, and then she has a very small bathroom. I don't even know if she uses the bathroom. I wanted to check that out, but yeah, that's Ren's new space, which I need to build the ceiling for. Um, I reorganized the orchard. I made it a lot more um, just like clean. <laughs> I, I really like organized everything and made everything like uh, very... Um, just like clean and straight and organized and not so cluttered, you know? So let's head into the house. I, uh, yeah, 
Yeah, this was this was a lot. It's not done yet, but you'll get the gist. So we've got the dining room here with a very extensive wine collection for some reason. I don't know, I just thought it looked cool. <laughs> There's a bathroom in here, which I think is kind of funny because uh, you can just like see out the wood, but there's blinds right here, you know? If you're taking a poop, you can pull it down. But really like these countertops. Um, this is kind of vibe goes throughout the entire house. It's like super warm in here. Mm, his office area, this is the kitchen, which yeah, needs like more cluttering and stuff, but. And then around this corner, I want to put like a bunch of family photos on this wall. And this is the living room. I went for like a round layout, which I never really do. And I love the way that it turned out. <laughs> We've got um, Evangeline and Edison's baby pictures right there. Yeah, I really like this living room a lot. It feels very cozy. Got Stella there. Upstairs we have this big open area. Not really sure what I want to do with it yet, but we can either make it bedrooms or we can keep this open. I'm not really sure. I just kind of left it open for for the future. And this is going to be Edison's bedroom. It needs a little bit more personality. It feels kind of like a blank slate right now, but I really like the, the decor in here. And then we turn this way and we've got like this, like, walk-in closet hallway <laughs> i'm a huge fan when i built this i like really made sure to keep like the floor plan of the bedroom in mind and i love the way that it turned out so you walk through the closet into uh his bathroom hello you match the bathroom <laughs> um yeah shower by the window toilet sink we got those same countertops going that is it. That is all that I did. I uh, I deleted the magic room and I put like a jacuzzi and a seating area out here. What else did I do? I think that's pretty much it. Like I said, I organized the orchard a little bit. I deleted some trees that we weren't using at all and kind of like organized this pond area a little bit too. <laughs> so yeah, I'm uh, stoked to see what else we add around here okay so it is zoe's like last days i believe i think we got the pop-up in the last video yeah see those floating little thingies her bar is full i have a feeling she might pass away in this episode so we're probably gonna get a, a zoe slideshow um also in the last one we gave edison his makeover <laughs> A lot of you guys loved it, a lot of you guys hated it, especially the hair, but um, I don't know, it seemed to work out for him because he was able to get Teddy to be his girlfriend, they woohooed, uh, they had a really good love day together, and she could potentially be pregnant, we're not sure yet, she was thinking about baby bottles in the last one, and I do have my woo my woohoo set to like 50% risky, just for some like realism. Is it 50% or 20%? I can't remember, but that is a possibility. Um, <laughs> which is pretty fun, pretty, pretty fun. So we're just gonna play out this episode. I don't really have any plans for it really. Uh, we're just gonna play it out and work on some skills and stuff. We don't have their birthdays until one week, seven days. That should go by really, really fast. So, yeah, we're gonna be starting the next gen very, very, very soon, like, officially. I'm really excited. I- <laughs> it's like, <laughs> when you don't play Sims for s this long, it kind of feels like a learning curve when you start again. It's such a trip. Like, I'm like, I don't even know how to play this game right now. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what to do with my hands. Yeah, my game is being, uh, really weird because, uh, I updated it. Because I haven't opened it for like a month, I want to say. And uh, there was like a million updates to be had. So <laughs> there's paparazzi outside of our house. Ren got promoted in the last one. So she just needs one more from one more promotion to max out this career that she's got. And then I'm pretty sure Zoe maxed. Yeah, she maxed her career and retired. So she's just living on her last days. <laughs> she's just like having a good old time. <laughs> I think we wanted to max parenting or something before she passed away, and we did. Yeah, we went to those skill classes, which was really nice. 
And then Evangeline, what's good with you, my girl? Uh -huh. You're just like waiting for Edison to come back so you can talk to him. Who's calling Ren? It's a Lilith. Do you want to hang out tonight? She wants to go to the ancient ruins. Girl, why do all the Sims want to go to the ancient ruins? Like, what is so fun about that place? <laughs> Especially when you're an adult. Like, I get it if you're a teen and you're trying to like find somewhere private to party, but oh no. Oh, she's fine. I was like, you have been found assless. Aisha Harris. All right, so for Evangeline, we were working on comedy. Yes, we were trying to max that. <clears throat> so I guess just work on that. I mean, you're feeling pretty good. You're feeling confident. So let's just tell some jokes. And then for um, Eddie, we were doing... Uh, Oh Lord, charisma. Yes, charisma. Okay, he's feeling good now that he's got some exercise in. And I kind of want to like lock this door for <laughs> everyone but Ren. I just, uh, I don't really like it when my sims are just everywhere. Yeah, my game really is not happy. Everything is taking forever. And I thought that like, I finally t took a look at Curse Forge and we're having a get together before prom. I'm pretty sure we already did prom with them, so we're not gonna go again. Uh, but anyway, I downloaded Curse Forge and I was like messing with it a little bit. And I think it's really cool that you can just update your mods straight from the app. And you can like go through your CC straight from the app as well. And it shows you little thumbnails of everything that, and if you wanna delete it, you just delete it from there. I deleted so much stuff. Um, and I thought that it would make my game run smoother, but apparently I just have too much, so... <laughs> it's not really making my game run any smoother. Oh well! What are you gonna do? Zoe, I already cleaned out your inventory, yes. All you've got in there is a book about unicorns, some spoiled ice cream, your glimmer stone, and some mechanisms. Sweet. What are you even cooking? Vegetable chili. Mm. Uh -huh. I wonder if Teddy is gonna Barbie call us. Watu. Pato, pate. Pato, pate. Cause like, she never really contacts us. We always contact her for the first time. Since he's a creative geek, we need to put like more stuff like that around the house. Like I would love to have like a... Ren, why are you just standing there? Go do something. Uh, like I would love to have like a little like figurine stand or like some some space stuff around and like some more creative stuff. Ooh, our plants be looking funky. Ren! <laughs> Go spray for bugs. Actually, why don't you just like tend the garden? Okay, you're feeling a little hungry and tired, so just get that skill up one more time. And then you can go take care of yourself, or we could always take a potion. <laughs> Man, I'm just like waiting for the call. I don't even know if it's gonna come, but I'm waiting for it. All right, you got it up to level seven. Good for you. Okay, he's gonna cook using the new Instant Pot, which I'm super stoked for. I haven't seen this in action yet. Looks like he's gonna make one of the meals from the new pack too. How are you guys liking the new pack, by the way? Now that it's been out for a while and everyone has formed some solid opinions. Comedy level five. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Good job. Oh, no. Wait, hold on a second. You're flirty? Your husband died like two days ago. Zoe's love life's been pretty drama free. No breakups, no cheating. Maybe she should write a book to help others be as successful in romance. What the heck? I've never seen that before. Well, I guess since you're right here, you might as well just use this computer. One last book. The Book of Life? <gasps> Capture a Sim's life in an epic poem. What does that do again? Oh, used to resurrect dead Sims. Each book can only be used on one Sim, but there is a no, but there is no limit to how many books of life can be written. Oh my God. Should we write one just for funsies? Kind of want to write this romance really quick though first while she's flirty. It might be a masterpiece. Let's see. Drama free love life. Be in be very old. Um be a widow. <laughs> Dude, you're seriously going to go to bed when you're feeling like that? 
Take care of yourself, my guy. I wonder what is making my game act like this. Is it my CC? Is it the mods? Because I feel like I don't have that many mods in my game. Maybe I need to upgrade my computer or something. <laughs> I know that's not the freaking solution to everything, but um, I, f I think that sometimes. I really do. God dang, boy, take care of that hygiene. Oh my god, I literally can't. I'm just gonna take a potion. He just does not want to listen. Good night. That is a very nice, a very nice spot. Right by the window. Lovely view. Enjoy yourself. Aww, look who came to visit. Sir Isaac. <laughs> Ooh, what do we got going on over here? I don't understand why the Sims litter so much in this park. A half-eaten hot dog, half-eaten vanilla parfait, a mu What? Paranoid. Why though? Hasn't been acting like her normal self lately. She's been very scared and a bit paranoid. Is it because everyone is dying around you? <laughs> I usually like to embrace these new personality traits whenever they Good pop day. up. Unless I like really disagree with them. But sure, Ren, you're in your paranoid Hi. era. That's fine. And you're sitting on the record player, which is also fine. All right. Did you take your potion? Are you feeling better? You clearly are because you're cross stitching. My sims and they're freaking cross-stitching, dude. I can't, but I mean, it's, it makes for really good screenshots. Oh, oh, well, aren't you cute? Oh, he's freaking adorable, guys. He's just, um, he's just very likable. What are you listening to, by the way? Spooky? It's literally summer, but I get it. I listen to the Nightmare Before Christmas soundtrack all year, so I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you need to do for your aspiration again? The freaking T pose! I don't think we're ever gonna get to that. I don't think that we're gonna be able to finish this aspiration, but that's okay. We need a best friend as well. This Rigoberto person, that's the girl that our girlfriend was flirting with, or that's the guy that our girlfriend was flirting with, so I don't think so. Wilson. We have good compatibility with him. I think he's our cousin. Shut up, shut up, shut up! No, no! Oof. I called it. I knew it. I knew it. No. No! Not the finger! <laughs> I have to point out the finger every time, dude. Like, why is it like that? Like, why? Why did they add that? Oh, honey. There's something so bittersweet about when an heir dies. It's like, holy crap, this is the saddest thing ever because I put so much, so much effort into you. And then on that flip side, it's like, well, cool, we get to start a new generation now. Oh. Her slideshow is gonna be so long. <laughs> I hope you're ready for it. And also, Edison, I don't give a shit if you like spooky music right now. Your mother is literally dying, but okay, sure. Oh man, Zoe has lived a long life, but her time has finally come. Well, I guess dying of old age is the best thing that could have happened. And Marnie had her baby. Wow, with death comes life. With death comes life. I hope that she's happy with Lamar and Sim Heaven. The cat's like, Mom, no! Well, actually, Mom, yes, come to the come to the ghost side. Also, gorgeous urn for a gorgeous lady.
All right, let's go ahead and plop this outside in the family graveyard. Right next to Lamar. This is Lamar, right? No, that's Felix. Where did I put Lamar at? Oh, right there. Just scooch you over. See right there. Aww. Stella and Zoe's gravestones are the only ones that are spellcaster in the grave yard. Oh, no, we got another one here. Who's this again? Oh, yeah, Margaret Vitor. I don't remember what happened to her. I think it might have been a fire. It most definitely was a fire. But no one knows that she's died yet. Um, awkward. Three Sims! Three freaking Sims in this house. What are you gonna do to Grim? Do you wanna dance with me? Invite Grim to dance. He's thinking about us in our beekeeper suit. <laughs> Yo! Sir Isaac, stop haunting the books. No one knows that she's died yet. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. He's just vibing right now. 6 a.m. cross stitching with some spooky music. First day of summer. Ooh, it's the first day of summer and it's a Sunday. Maybe we should go to the beach today. How are you feeling? My belle, Evangeline. So far above me, yet I know her heart belongs to only me. Je t'adore, je t'aime, Evangeline. <laughs> All right, why don't you wake up Drink a this potion, and then uh, we're gonna go to the beach today. First day of summer, and it's a Sunday. Oh my god! Should we pack a picnic? <sighs> I don't think that we've had a picnic in Legacy Challenge yet, so let me go ahead and buy a picnic basket. I don't think I've ever had a successful picnic, so I'm gonna try. And, oh shoot, we should probably invite... Um, Mmm, Teddy. Oh my god, look at her! She looks so cute! Yabba. Oh, I'm obsessed. No one was around, so we left her- What do you mean? It's right here. Alright, come over here, unpack it. Alright, it's 10 a.m. Perfect time to go. Perfect time. Let's bring Wilson along. We seem to have a good relationship with him. I think Edison should have like some other random hobby as well. I feel like we ignore a lot of the things uh, <laughs> in this game, like fishing or something like DJ mixing, something weird, something weird like that. But what's up, dude? And who's about new show? Why do you always have a headache? I feel like there's always something wrong with her. <gasps> Well, I think that just confirmed it. I think that just confirmed it. We are having a child. We're having a child. She has not confirmed it yet, but... What's wrong with you? Why do you look so sad? Oh my gosh. Maybe becoming besties? will help kick soccer ball. It's like really cloudy and gross today. That sucks. Evangeline babes, you're so sad. Ooh wee, a teen pregnancy. We haven't had one of these in so long. I'm pretty excited. Oh, oh, let's get the picnic basket out. You're the queen of the night. So steel, so bright. Oh my god, this dude's like freaking out about Ren. He's already passed out over us twice. <laughs> oh my god, we have really cute cross stitches in here. Ooh wee, maybe we should gift one to our girlfriend. Give romantic gift. Yes, a poop, a strawberry, a decorative egg. Um, some potions. Hmm, I really want to give her a cross stitch. Or two rainbows. Let's see if she likes it. I made this for you with my own hands. Please like it. You didn't like the last gift I gave you. Oh, she likes it! 
Oh, and she's giving us a rose, which would be so cute! So cute. All right. The food and the <laughs> drinks are out on the sand. I love the freaking really good quality seagulls in this bag. She looks happy for once. That makes me stoked. Oh my gosh, what's this? Generous surprise, giving spirit, celebrity sighting, romantic generosity, crush nearby, embarrassed. You don't gotta be embarrassed about that. Ren, you look great. You look awesome. This guy is just obsessed with Ren. Oh my god. Do you want like an autograph or something? Like you won't leave me alone, dude. Oh, he's asking. Oh my god, dude. A famous vampire who can go in the sun. Honestly, I'd be freaking out too. <laughs> I'm gonna be so for real right now. Yes. Hank Hinton just asked me out. Hell yeah, girl. Go for it. The beach is popping today. Holy crap. Are those people racing boats? Oh, that's one boat. I thought that was two. You need to be careful with that boat. There's a lot of people around. <laughs> the ocean is really pretty. There's a mermaid. Like, holy crap. So much going on. Oh my. Wow. Look at her go. She's she's very pretty. What's what's your name? Madison Middleton. Madison Mad <laughs> Madison Middleton. What a name. Dude, you're freaking running people over. Those sims on these boats are so unhinged, I swear. Uh, uh Mommy, I'm scared. Pierre. <laughs> Not de demonic Pierre with the chain around his neck. I mean, sure. Live your life. Maybe we should make friends with that 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 teenage mermaid. Aw, Eloise, thank you. Thank you for your condolences. Are there any teens around? Everyone is an adult. Oh, Hayden's here. Nice. That's Leslie's husband. Oh, Bruce is here too. Dang, the whole family. You're bald. Raylan Stamper. Mm, lifeguard Kyle Kyleson. Is that for real right now? <laughs> um, yeah, it looks like uh, everyone is an adult. Oh, wait, we got we got one here. Uh, v Vincenzo Stamper. Let's have a look. Wow, a full on suit and tie at the beach. Um, he's kind of cute though. He's got purple eyes. Let's, let's give him an introduction, I suppose. Maybe that'll make her happy. Hello. I like vacuuming. What do you like? I don't know about this man. Maybe with a makeover? I cannot wait for them to age up. I'm so impatient. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the mermaid girl. Hello, I couldn't help but notice your tail. It's lovely. Oh, here's Teddy's dad. Ren, watch it. Jesus. Dislikes video gaming. Oh no, we can't be friends. Listen to Lauren freak out. What the hell? Anyways, let's head home. Uh, it's almost 7 p.m. That was a very fun beach day. We made some new friends. We got two Middleton sisters here. They're both mermaids. Pretty cool. So I got a, D a little uh, D-Boom speaker for Christmas. They are the cutest things ever. Sorry, that was really loud. Um, but yeah, it's a little speaker. It's a clock. Uh, it looks like a little computer. It's just such a, it's a really cute desk accessory. And then there's like, um, there's a... Uh, 
Anyways, it was playing my music. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really cute. It has a, a whole app where you can like display different little like animations. You can put like a calendar, you can put alerts on there. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much like a little baby computer that sits on your desk. It's cute. Evangeline is the only one feeling the effects of Zoe's death. Whoa, what is that? Was that just the animation that happens when she wakes up? I have never seen that before. That's dope. I've never really used any of her powers before. Like, I know that she can go in the sun. She's got dampened emotions. Tame thirst. Master of darkness becomes stronger in the nighttime. Uh, detect personality. Learn all about other Sims traits. Withered stomach. Guilty drinker. Sloppy drinker. Sleep. Uh... But this one, this one is very interesting. Manipulate life spirit. Gain the power to drain life spirit from other sims and restore life spirit from those who have been drained. Oh, well that's cool. So if someone in the family gets drunken by a vampire, I guess we can restore their life spirit? Or simply refresh her prey? Very interesting. Very, very interesting. I think that um, once we like move Evangeline out of the house. I mean, she'll probably always stay on the lot, but we'll use some of the things from the new pack so she's on the lot, but we don't have to control her. And it'll just be Edison and Ren. We can focus a little bit more on Ren and her love life. Um, I know that a lot of you want her to have another kid, which I think is really funny. But it might be time, it might be time. Oh my god! Kieran is having a child? That's Ren's son! <gasps> Ren's gonna be a grandma! That's a first! Alice didn't have any kids. <gasps> Arabella Ethington. And then Colby! Colby got married to someone named Annabeth Steele. William married Asia Harris. That's that girl that just walked by with no booty, with the invisible booty. Wow, okay. I think it's so hilarious that they both got married at the same time. They're twins, right? That is hilarious. They're like, well, if you're getting married, then I have to get married too. <laughs> well, congratulations, boys, congratulations. If Teddy, is pregnant she's gonna have the baby at her house that means that she's gonna name it herself so the next heir it probably will not have a name that we pick it needs to be first born of the opposite gender so the next heir needs to be um born a girl so if she has a girl, then that's gonna be the next heir. Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm nervous. What if she names her something like the horrid? Like just so bad. Aw, Felix is repairing the station for us. Well, thank you, sir. Alright, what do we got in the mail? What's a party bot? What does this do? We need four mechanisms and three computer chips. Who are you? Paparazzi, why are you on our property? Leave, bro. Oh, jeez. Give it to her. She's laughing at us for telling her to leave. Oh, you craft them. You craft them on here. We need three mechanisms and one computer chip. You are not gonna take pictures of me up here. You're not. You are! Oh my god, dude. He's hung over from that one mimosa. Me. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm pretty sure they both did their homework. They did. They did. What's this from? Thirsty. Edison is parched and eager for a drink. He can't wait to start the party and let loose. Oh. Are you in a party phase? Well, it's Monday, sir, so... 
I, I, I don't know if that's, that's gonna happen today, but we'll see. <laughs> Evangeline graduated early. That's right. So she doesn't have to go to school or do anything. Maybe we should join, get a job. Maybe selling clothes on Etsy will be her job. I mean, on Trendy, my bad. What do we got? Babysitter, barista, fast food employee, lawbreaker, lifeguard, video game streamer. Let's try it out. Let's freaking try it. We almost have $10 million. I don't think I've ever made that much in The Sims organically before. Nice, successful stream. Evangeline gained four followers. The grind never stops, you know? So we got live stream with a friend done. Reach level four entrepreneur skill. I think the easiest way to do that is by... Oh, we need to advertise video game stream online. Oh, yes, he's probably calling to chat about his marriage, which we never even got invited to the freaking wedding, dude. Oh, Edison's an A student now. Hell yes, my dude. Good job. Good job. Looks like we got another personality trait for Ren. Bookworm? Is it just because she's doing robotics? I don't know, that doesn't really fit. It doesn't really fit. And I don't want to do too many personality changes to her because then it'll like start to fill up. I'm gonna say no to Bookworm. I wonder why Edison and Ren are not affected by the death. What the hell? What is that? Drinking's fun. Edison has discovered a love for drinking. Everything seems more fun after a few drinks. Oh no. I mean... He's not wrong. What is that noise coming from? Finally. Freaking finally. Pink floral or blue rainbow? Mm. Pink floral. Let's do it. I'm so excited to see what this thing does. <laughs> I put so much effort into this. Ooh wee. The soup is cooking. Seven, wait, hold on a second. Release steam vent. Ren can now enhance a server with the Sims defense major. Wow. How do we grab, how do we grab a, ooh. Grab a serving of that soup. Oh my God, soup sounds amazing. I think I'm gonna make some tonight. It's raining, oh no. She really shouldn't be doing this in the rain, but. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. Yep. I, I knew it. I knew it. All right, take a break. <laughs> what is this from? Pre-gaming. Edison is so excited to go out and start drinking. Holy crap. All right, well, I guess I will... Crap, you have school tomorrow, though. This is the first time I have had a sim be like this before. This is very interesting. Uh, what was that? Manami had a female baby with Bellamy. Holy crap, I think that's their fourth child. It's five in the morning. There ain't no way. There ain't no way we're gonna go to the bar. We have school in like two hours. Did we already wish for skills for Edison? I think we've only done it for Evangeline. Okay, I need to get Evangeline's entrepreneur skill up. Um, let's check the latest trends on Trendy. I know selling outfits on Trendy increases that skill, so let's let's see what we got. Streetwear trend. Streetwear trend. Okay. Alright, study hard. I'm gonna travel with Evangeline to the uh, thrift store. We're gonna buy an outfit, sell it, and that usually like increases your skill by one. So that should help us out for our job. Oh my god, I forgot about Cliff. We should explore that a little bit, see how that goes. I think it's pretty dope that she graduated early. It's pretty freaking sick. Create a fashion look, streetwear, right? Before I forget. Streetwear trend is high. We can probably sell it for another million. I feel like we've made this outfit already, um, but yeah, that looks pretty good. Name your look. 
street wear. We'll sell that. Okay, 80 bucks with a million dollar turnaround. Crazy. I got this fuzzy uh, Twitch pillow at TwitchCon a couple of years ago. Was it two years ago? It was a year ago. I love it. It's like, it's the best thing to just cuddle up with as I'm filming. Sell off it on Trendy, Enterprise. Let's go, let's go that, see how that works. Um, that's weird. Why am I getting a notification that Zoe just passed away? That's so weird. Okay, they have the sad emo now. I don't get it. I mean, sad moodlet, what am I saying? <laughs> Anyways. Look at them, they're so cute, just like browsing together. Oh shoot, we gotta pay the bills. Ren, when do you have work next? Oh, five hours, okay. Well, hopefully we get that last promotion today. Girl, stop denying autographs. It's so rude. Also, Evangeline is like hella lonely right now. All alone from people, person, lifestyle. I feel bad. I was trying to find someone that um, Evangeline can hang out with and vibe with. Let's invite Cliff over here. I can't remember if Evangeline thinks he's attractive or not. It happens. Oh, okay. She doesn't even find Cliff attractive. Maybe we should go on like a date. Like a blind date or something. Gosh darn, guys. Her sadness just won't go away. And I get it. I just feel like it's been so long. Let's see. Blind date. Um, he seems nice. Where should we go? It's a real question. Let's go to this fancy restaurant. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful out. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, mister, what's your name? Ty Carson. Okay, Ty. Well, um, I guess let's just see how y'all get along. Funny introduction. Oh, it's a scorcher out here. Oh, wow, nice crop top. He seems, he seems to be handsome, I can tell. Discuss interest, wow. Maybe we should just get drinks. They already have a good sentiment, that's wild. Why is Father Winter here? Well, I guess it's the summer. He doesn't have anything better to do right now. <laughs> I really hate this dine out glitch where the waiter comes, takes your order, and then just stands there. He's a perfectionist. A klepto! A kleptomaniac perfectionist. Oh my god. Dislikes fitness. Okay, I mean, that's fine. Yarpa. <laughs> You miss. Seriously? This is the freaking entertainment at a fancy restaurant? Uh, she doesn't seem too confident in herself either, I'm not gonna lie. Oh! He just blew us two kisses! We have fresh yumpy. Draw boy Oh my god, they are flirting up a storm, you guys. I wonder if she thinks he's cute. I hate how I can't scope the surroundings unless I stand up. It's really annoying, but let's have a look. Oh my god, she thinks he's cute! Oh my god, more kisses. I can't. Should we kiss him? Screw it, let's do it. We have to kiss our date for the, for the, for the, for the quests. <laughs> the quests. Oh my God, she's gonna kiss the guy in the crop top. Aww. 
I kind of love his crop top. I'm not even gonna lie. Chinka Cal go. We don't have any like uh what should we call it yet compatibility yet with him, but um we should go look at him and cast really quick. I was really hoping that Teddy was gonna call us um today about her being pregnant because she obviously is unless she was just having stomach problems that day but that's highly unlikely <sighs> oh wow what a household um okay so we knew that he was a perfectionist we knew he's a klepto he's got the city native aspiration he lives with his brother his cousin his other brother and his uncle and their wives it seems um yeah he's uh he's really adorable i like him a lot yeah this long hair is really cute on him he's got brown eyes brown eyes and gray hair hmm i kind of want to change the type of eyes he has maybe those are nice i love his freckles Ooh, those are really nice klepto though <laughs> He's adorable. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Don't know what's going on with his brother here. Um, I mean, rock and roll, my guy. Rock and roll. Perfect host, survivalist, and our lover. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm gonna leave Evangeline at her restaurant. I hope she's having a good time. Um, you, sir. Let's go over to Teddy's house and see see how she's doing. Let's see if she's got a bump or anything because. We should have gotten the, uh, the, uh, uh pop-up by now, I think. Oh my god! Their dog had puppies? Okay, cool. That's cute. I would love to adopt one. That would be really adorable, especially if Teddy's gonna move in with us. Like, we can bring one of the pups over. Let's see what their names are. Oh my god, oh my god! Why didn't she call us? Girl, you suck. You suck. Okay, we got Sprinkles and Rocky. I'm thinking Rocky. I'm not a huge fan of the name Sprinkles, but it's okay. Girl, what the heck? Why didn't you call? Flurbis. <laughs> She's like, oh yeah, by the way. I'm <laughs> pregnant! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> well, at least we know now that she is definitely having a baby, guys. How exciting. I am going to leave it until the next one to see what she's having. And, oh my god, Marnie's having another baby. What is with this? Bailey got married to someone named Sienna? Um, I'm gonna wait until the next one to figure out what Teddy is having and I think it is a good idea to have her hang on to the baby while it's a baby um, and maybe like when it's a toddler we can move them in um, I think that's probably the best bet because honestly guys you know me you know that I do not like taking care of babies in the sims you know I do not like taking care of infants in the sims especially they are so difficult so we'll just leave it to her to do that and then uh, we'll move them in eventually which is very exciting i cannot wait to see if it's going to be a boy or a girl because that will determine a lot about how we're going to move forward um yeah I'm, I'm, I'm wondering why she never calls you know what they don't call when they find out they're pregnant they call when they have the baby that's why okay okay well that makes sense uh, I guess I'm not I'm not too pissed anymore. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, Evangeline um, is super stoked. She had her first kiss. She had a very nice date with Ty. We'll see how that goes. And then, yeah, super excited for the next episode. I cannot wait. I cannot freaking wait. They're going to be aging up as well. Uh, we have three days until they age up. So in the next one, we're going to be aging them up, finding out their last trait. And then we're going to move out Evangeline... Kinda, she's gonna still be living on the lot, but 
when we're not gonna be like having control over her. And then we're gonna move in Teddy, the baby, and probably one of the dogs. And yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna keep this generation rolling. I'm super excited. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. As always, leave your opinions, leave your comments. Uh, go watch my TikTok of my setup if you're interested. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you very soon with another video. Have a great rest of your day, and have a, what day is it? It's Friday. Have a great weekend. I love you. Bye!